Momentous firsts often happen because of several factors. The most important ingredient is an individual with drive and ambition. And anyone who knows Tori Murden's story knows she has that in spades. But taking the time to prepare an outfit for a challenge and then actually going out and doing it, that all takes funding. Tori's boat, the American Pearl, bears the names of sponsors that helped float her financially while she rode her way across the Atlantic Ocean. But she wasn't the first American with ocean-sized goals. Thaddeus Lowe was an early and avid aeronaut, a balloonist, who after some minor successes set his sight on piloting a balloon across the Atlantic Ocean. One patron believed that the American government would back him financially if he could just prove that it was possible. He advised Lowe that if he flew a balloon from somewhere in the West all the way to Washington, D.C., it would get attention and convince Congress to provide some funds for the ocean crossing. So Lowe went to the far western town of Cincinnati, Ohio. And in April of 1861, he and his balloon lifted off, flying over Kentucky. Many hours later, he decided to put down, confused why he wasn't in Washington, D.C. He wasn't even close. The winds had taken him to South Carolina, the same South Carolina that had just seceded from the Union and fired the opening shots of the Civil War. Naturally, the South Carolinians, perplexed by the flying vehicle, assumed that he was a spy. So he was arrested and held for days until he was able to prove that he was simply a man of science trying to prove that you could cross the ocean in a balloon, which he really hadn't proven at all. Once released, he boarded the first train to Kentucky and made his way to D.C. Failure or not, Secretary of the Treasury Salmon P. Chase was taken with the flight and invited him to demonstrate balloon potential for President Lincoln. After telegraphing a message from high up in a balloon through a cable going right into an open window of the White House, he was offered the civilian position of Chief Aeronaut of the Balloon Corps. Those South Carolinians were just a little early in their assertions because he was now, in fact, leading a team of pilots to spy on the Confederate troops from above. The Balloon Corps didn't last long, though. They were just active during the early part of the war. The job set him on a path to become a prolific inventor, but ultimately derailed his plans for crossing the ocean, which is something he never did. However, he did inspire a young German soldier who came to America during the Civil War. Ferdinand von Zeppelin was blown away with the potential of balloons and how Lowe used them, but General McClellan would not allow Lowe to take him up for a flight. Zeppelin would, of course, create the famous German airship that eventually did what Lowe never could, cross the Atlantic. 